Welcome to Unbiased and on the Fence. I'm Shane. Glad you could join me. Well, I've been taking pictures of the sun for months now, and uh, I finally caught something sort of odd here. Um, you can see uh, there's some spots on the sun here that I've never gotten before. And um, it's repeated frame after frame. It's going a little bit closer here. I took a ton of pictures. Well, let me show you the video first. Just um, do you guys remember if you didn't see my sun video, uh, my portal sun video? I gotten this from the Soho satellite a while back, where it looks like something was flying into the sun here. Not really sure what it was, but they didn't remove it. And you can see the date here. It's last I checked, it was still up, but it looks like February fifteenth, and it was the Soho three hundred four. That I got that but anyway I only point this out because it's almost that exact same area just down and left of the center that I captured the spot on here and you can even see on the video footage here it's, it jumps around a lot but you can see that the spot jumps around with it you can pause it and you can see it there Not sure about the frame rate if it's driving frames, but definitely see the spot there. And you could see another spot pop up there, but you know, and that's typical. That's what you might get a spot here or there, like I don't know, a bug flies by or something like that. But this is the first time I've seen a spot just stay, you know, stationary along with the sun. And I'm not really sure what it is. And I've got pictures about 20 minutes apart, I guess. Let's see. The last ones I took were... This is one of the best ones. Once I saw this, that's when I realized I had it, finally had it focused. Because a lot of them didn't turn out. Because I was out there in the sun. I didn't even realize it was capturing that speck. Because it's just so bright out there. And I can hardly see my screen. But once I could actually see this on the phone, that's when I recorded the video you just saw of it. I mean, I actually click on this and make it bigger here. Look at that. Now, I thought, I don't know, maybe it was Mercury passing in front of it. Not really sure. I don't, I, I did some searching and to see if I could find anything on it. And that's where I actually put my glasses in front of there to try to make it even darker. But you can see it's staying right with the sun. Out of focus a little bit, out of focus a little bit, but yeah, it's as the camera's all shaking around, and and I've got the I think oh, it's one twenty four thousandth of a second, so even though it's shaking around, it stays pretty focused if the lens itself is focused. But you can see there, it's just enough out of focus that you can really can't quite even make it out anymore. I mean, it is there, it's just harder to see. That was a pretty good one. See it right in this area right here. So what is it? I have no idea. But uh, it's definitely something strange. I've been taking pictures of the sun now for a while. Let me go back to one of the earlier pictures. See this would be... Let me get the time on that first one. The time on the first one was around 7.35. And then the first one I took, where it was actually focused enough to see it. And you can see here, clouds flying by fly by pretty fast. Like that's 05, that's 06. That's just one second apart, and you can see the cloud, how quickly it's moving across the sun. That's uh, two seconds later, so one second, two seconds apart, and it's almost completely off the sun. Let me get down to where we can see it again here. One of these right in here, you could see it again there, you can see it. Now this is at 10 after, so this is, what is that, 25 minutes late? 
earlier than when I actually made sure the focus was in really well. Here you can see it again. I'm not sure if it's moved between those two, but it's definitely there. And uh, some more clouds went by, so I had to wait. There we are back at towards the end, 7:34. Once I came in the house and uh, put the put the pictures on the computer, that's a pretty good one there. Um, and saw what I had, I went back out to see if it moved because I wasn't sure if like a uh, mercury was passing in front of it. Now I did some searches on the internet, and. Um, I couldn't find anything about any planets that's supposed to be passing through it right now. So I really, if, if uh, there's anybody out there that has information on that, you know, I'd love to hear it because I don't know what the heck's going on with that, but it's definitely something on the sun. I've ruled out, you know, a satellite passing by or a lens or anything along those lines. So, and let me play the video one more time so you can see how you can see it jumping around with the sun so it's on the sun or close to the sun passing by it or something but yeah so pretty bizarre something going on there so um yeah and you pay attention to the uh time stamps because these were taken just earlier july 11th uh this year 2017 and then this is uh 35 and 30 seconds so you can sort of get an idea of uh you know that was just a couple hours ago i've been um going through some old stuff and uh trying to see if i i could find anything on any old images that i just missed but this is the only thing quite like that i've ever had from everything i've looked through i also wanted to uh show my setup now you can view this video right up here um to see set up in a little more detail but it's basically this clip-on zoom lens here with two polarized lenses and I affixed the pill bottle that I cut a hole in so it'll just slip right over there and this clips right on my smartphone this gives me eight times zoom, zoom and my phone gives me another eight times zoom and by connecting these up uh, these lenses up in such a way I can pivot them and get it super dark and then adjust the shutter up really fast but I wanted to um, look at the uh, files here in Photoshop um, this is uh, the one taken at 35 after and when I compare it to the ones taken uh, what was it 25 or 26 minutes later even though it's sort of blurry I try to line them up best I can but that one's sort of stretched but it doesn't really look like it moved too much maybe down into the left a little bit but I think that's the direction it gets stretched so it's hard to tell but if I go into the uh, curves filter you can see it's really there whatever it is definitely very interesting so please uh, comment and let me know what you think of that and uh, please if you know anybody that you can share this with that might have more information on it please do so and I will see you in the next video thanks